Well, <clears throat> leave it leave it to Facebook to to throw you throw you a curveball again and say, hey, we're we're gonna mess things up for you. So they they wouldn't let me go live with the camera horizontally. Right. Okay. Well, all right. We'll do what we can do, right? Um, they can they can try to take our joy, but they're not going to get it. They're not going to get it. Uh, good morning. Welcome to Live for Five with Pastor Ben. I'm glad you're tuning in today. Um, look forward to digging in. We're we're still in the Beatitudes. I kind of predicted that they would once we got two days in a row. I mean, why why, why not just keep going, right? Um, trying to get this camera setting a little bit better since they change things up on us. Um, but yeah, let's make our beginning this morning in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Amen. If you pull out the Version Bible app, our verse of the day takes us to Matthew chapter 5, verse 10. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Well, Matthew chapter 5 verses 9 and 10 are the 7th and the 8th Beatitudes, and and they go together. They, They go together. The peace of God's good news in Jesus will not be welcomed by many people. We see this today. Jesus told us this would be the case. So Jesus begins this eighth beatitude with these words. Uh, the one, the ones who are persecuted because of righteousness are then blessed. Now, righteousness, as it's used here in verse 10, it could refer to righteous behavior, things that you do in order to follow in this way of Jesus and discipleship. However, if you see these two verses together, verse 10 and 11, this because of righteousness language, you're you're blessed when other people insult you because of me, because of him. It's much more likely that this righteousness then in verse 10 has the same kind of meaning as in Matthew chapter 3, verse 15, Jesus answered him, Let it be so, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Uh, he's referring to God's righteous saving deeds in Jesus. That's what this is about. So the righteousness can't really be activities that humans do. It's activity that God does. And so now in this final in the final Beatitudes, they'll not only apply to those disciples, but to every disciple who experiences this kind of uh, persecution for, for the sake of Jesus. And at this point, the reign of heaven and all of its blessings, they, they already belong to believers. They belong to us in Difficult times. We have them. Uh, just as these blessings belong to all who have nothing to offer God. So in verse 3, Matthew chapter 5, verse 3, we have, Blessed are the poor in spirit. Uh, so Jesus goes about blessing people that can't earn their way to heaven. Why would he change the script now? It doesn't really match. Um, These are things that people have by means of believing. So, this these final two beatitudes, though, uh, they prevent Jesus' disciples, both then in the text, but now today, from adopting this triumphalistic idea of if I advance the kingdom, that's righteousness that is going to gain me entrance into the kingdom of heaven. And, and that I need to seek out persecution and being insulted for the name of Jesus in order for me to get this uh, kingdom of heaven. That's, Jesus won't, the text won't let us do that. 
this final day of victory um, does indeed belong to Christ. And the present reign of God in Jesus is a hidden reality that can only be known to those to whom it's revealed. There's this hiddenness of God, this revealedness of God, and they both go hand in hand. Um, we, we trust in the things that are revealed, um, and then they help us to trust in the things that are hidden. And in the midst of all of it, uh, we're blessed in the kingdom of heaven. Heaven belongs to us. Uh, so this is to be said then at the conclusion is you might not experience persecution that leads to the type of persecution that others experience in the rest of the world. We might have lesser persecutions. We're not going to elevate those and compare them to people who are being martyred for their faith, but we're going to be ready. We'll be ready. We pray that God would sustain us in all of it. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray that you would prevent persecution from coming. But if it does, give us the strength and courage to trust in your promises in those difficult moments and to still be your light to the world in all circumstances whether in joy or in turmoil. We pray all this in your Son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, have a wonderful day in the Lord. I look forward to spending the rest of our week together in this unique way. Have a blessed day in Christ. We'll see you soon.